Tonight on Reporting Scotland, a win for the liquidated Rangers Football Club. Its employee benefit scheme paid players and staff £49.5 million in tax-free loans. A tribunal rules it didn't break the law. The former Rangers Football Club has won its case against the taxman over the way it paid some players and staff. A tribunal has ruled that the payments, which amounted to around £49 million, were loans and not earnings, meaning that they were not liable for income tax. HM Revenue and Customs says it may appeal the decision. Our business correspondent David Henderson is here to explain the judgment and what it means for those involved. David. Yes, Katrina, the stakes were high in this case, and the question the tax tribunal had to answer was quite simple. Were Rangers guilty of tax evasion because they paid their players and staff using so-called employee benefit trusts, or EBTs? The tax authorities certainly thought so. They'd hit Rangers with a bill for £49 million. But today, a tribunal cleared the club. Some players and staff, though, will not be celebrating tonight. They may have to pay back the millions they earned under this controversial scheme. The champions of the Scottish Premier League. And once again, it's Rangers. Victory, but it comes at a price. And title-winning players never come cheap. For decades, the big clubs have paid a fortune in wages and tax. But Rangers' attempt to cut this bill has come back to haunt them. On the field, they were celebrating. Off it, officials took steps to reduce the club's tax bill. Some players and staff were paid through an elaborate loan scheme. The goal, more money to spend and a stronger squad. So here's how it was done. Over a decade, around £48 million was funnelled through so-called employee benefit trusts. Rangers would pay little or no income tax or national insurance, and the players were paid in loans. For years, this system wasn't just used at Ibrox, it was widespread. But that recently changed. It was worrying the tax authorities. The idea of using them moved from um, being available to the whole workforce to very small numbers of employees as a means of uh, putting money or other assets into their hands without an immediate tax charge or sometimes no tax charge at all. Today's ruling goes in Rangers' favour. The tribunal said the money players received were loans, so the club was correct not to pay tax on it. Well, in theory, it's a loan. Um, at some point during the lifetime of that player or on their death, that loan can be repayable to the trust. So it's not money that goes back to Rangers Football Club, it goes to the trust, which is separate from Old Co Rangers. That's a blow for the tax authorities. In a statement, they told us, we're disappointed that we have lost this stage of the court process and we're considering an appeal. HMRC is committed to tackling avoidance and it is right that we challenge the type of avoidance seen in this case. Sir David Murray controlled Rangers when this tax scheme was operational. Tonight his company told us we are pleased with the judgment which leaves minimal tax liability and overwhelmingly supports the views collectively and consistently held by our advisors, legal counsel and MIH itself. For Rangers fans, this ruling comes too late. Their once mighty club has gone bust. When we knew at the start it was rubbish. We all knew that for the start. It would never be done with it. The truth finally came out, but it's been the supporters who have suffered through everything, the demise of the club and the whole lot. Now, this ruling may not be the end of the road. The tax authorities, as you heard, may now appeal against the decision that these payments were just a loan. Meanwhile, Rangers liquidators may now look to see if they can force players and staff to repay some of the millions they received. Among them, Sir David Murray, the man who ran the club. Katrina. Thanks very much, David. Well, let's go now to Ibrox and our sports reporter, Keradine Idzan. So, Keradine, does today's ruling keep the trophy room there intact? Well, the fans and the new owners here at Ibrox certainly hope so, but that question will actually be answered by the Scottish Premier League's three-man commission that will be chaired by Lord Nimmo Smith. That investigation is looking at whether Rangers failed to disclose benefit trust payments to players over that decade from 2000. At stake, some of the titles and trophies in Ibrox behind me if Rangers are found to have broken the rules. 
The Commission hearings uh, have been put back due to illness. No new date has been set for them yet, but today's tax tribunal will have a significant impact on the evidence that they'll hear. As we've been hearing there, today's rulings declared that most of the benefit trust payments were loans, not earnings. But the ruling also says that the old co rangers do have some tax liabilities from the EBT scheme in a limited number of cases. It will be for the independent commission to decide whether and to what extent rangers broke league rules. But tonight, after a long drawn out contest with the taxman, rangers, certainly those in charge of the old co rangers, are savouring a big win. All right, Kennedy, Dean, thanks very much. And the findings of that tribunal and what it means for Rangers and Scottish football will be the main subject for discussion on tonight's Newsnight Scotland starting at 11 o'clock over on BBC Two Scotland.